Just three years after Idaho gained statehood, the town of Albion was more than just a stop between Boise and Salt Lake City. Oh, yeah, there were 4,000 people lived here. George Kelly's family goes back two generations in Albion before he was born here 82 years ago. Oh, it was wonderful. Growing up, George went to grade school like almost everyone else in Cassia County. Right here, Albion Normal. Albion State Normal School was a two-year college built in 1893 to teach Idaho's future teachers. Yeah, 1950 was, I think, the last day, the last time they run. It closed in 1951, to be exact, and by that time, some 6,000 student teachers had passed through this campus. But some would say some of them and some of those who served them didn't fully depart. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. Uh huh. There was a lady that would walk across the grounds at 2 in the morning with a backpack on that was trying to go to school. I mean, I heard all kinds of stories. Heather Mortensen and her husband bought the 35-acre property at auction 10 years ago with the intent to turn it into a retreat and event center. But every October, with the help of those stories, they turn the old school into a haunted house tour. And so this is Comish Hall, and this is, I think it's around 50,000 square feet, and it's the women's dormitory. Because of this building, Heather says, she became convinced haunted wasn't just a holiday gimmick. One year on Halloween night, she and some staff were standing in the courtyard at the close of another season when they saw a light in an upstairs window. It looked like a flashlight, but not bright. No, it looked like kind of a dim flashlight, kind of moving around in there. But nobody mm -mm. was inside, something they discovered soon after. Nobody in the, in the whole building. So I don't know what that was. <laughs> Kay Powell worked as a night watchman here for 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> and he's heard of several sightings of a dark-haired woman around the women's dorm. She would be at the one end of the hall or something and, and just kind of disappear. The same woman supposedly seen by a paranormal investigation team while they were setting up their equipment. And they came running outside and said, oh, we just saw this lady standing in the hallway in a white dress. And it was another Halloween night when Heather says she was clearing Comish at closing time, when she passed a scared couple coming down these steps. And they were looking up and they were listening, as I heard as well, a voice that said, please don't leave, wait, come back. And it sounded like a young woman or a young boy, I couldn't tell which. Heather continued upstairs. And I took my flashlight and scanned the whole second floor and looked everywhere and could not find anybody. Heather says she's still kind of a skeptic, even after all these years. But having met so many that went to school here more than a half a century ago, she understands why they wouldn't want to leave. They met their spouses here. They just have such good memories going to school here that if they have passed on, I feel like maybe they're traveling through and wanting to revisit those memories that were so important in their life. Memories that may linger longer than the broken down buildings they inhabit. There have been too many things happen to Brian Holmes. Deny it, I guess. Idaho's News Channel 7.